While you're at hudking.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or enter a street name or zip code in the search bar to see other HUD homes in your area. If you're watching this on YouTube, click on the subscribe button to be notified of new uploaded videos. We are here at 10335 Mission Creek. That's 10335 Mission Creek over in the Silverton Valley subdivision. It's a big four bedroom, two and a half bath home. Approximately 2,600 square feet, built in 2000. Exterior is a combination of brick and hardy plank siding. And it's in pretty good condition. It actually sits in a corner of a lot. The lot is over 10,000 square feet. Exterior wise is in pretty good condition. Garage needs a little addressing. But being brick and hardy plank, it's a pretty low maintenance exterior. Probably just need to do a little power washing and exterior painting. That's all pretty minor. Let's take a look at the big backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Now being at kind of the turn of a street, you have an, an, not a square lot, sort of an angled lot, but it is a really big lot, as I mentioned, over 10,000 square feet. You may want to address some of the fencing here. The fence is a little damaged. Rear view of the home. But exterior-wise, really not in bad shape. Enough room for a pool here. Fix a little bit of the trim, maybe a fresh coat of paint. Seal up a little bit of the joint and you're done. Let's take a look at the inside. Now as we walk inside, it does have a cute little porch here. All bedrooms are going to be upstairs. When we walk in, you can see it is missing flooring downstairs. And this home could actually, potentially be a five bedroom home. When we walk into the left here, you have an office. It has kind of an accordion style door here, but you can change that to a normal door and have this as a, as a one bedroom downstairs. It's gonna need carpeting, it's gonna need painting. It does have a closet that would qualify it for a bedroom, but right now it's really set up as like an office or a study. We then come into your dining room. The dining room right here is gonna need carpeting or flooring and painting. We then make our way over into your living room. The living room does have a fireplace. It's gonna need flooring and painting. And then we pan over and we have a big open like a breakfast and kitchen area here. Now one thing, if I didn't mention it, there is an FHA repair escrow set aside to do some repairs on this home if you finance it with an FHA loan. Now I do like how open the kitchen is, the breakfast area here, and the living room, because if you're going to entertain, it's really nice. You have a big island here, and as you can see, it's missing all of the upper cabinets. So you're going to want to replace the cabinets, maybe even replace the, the bottom, the lower ones, because some of the drawers are missing there. We come over, we have a half bathroom right here, missing the mirror, but it does have a vanity. It's actually a good size master, I'm um, sorry, a good size half bathroom. We have the pantry here. And then we have your laundry room that takes you right to the garage. Indoor laundry room is always nice. And you have a door here that takes you into the two car garage. Pretty standard two car garage, it's been finished out. No big frills, not much to say about that. And then as I mentioned, all four bedrooms are going to be upstairs. And when you come in the front door, you do have the staircase that takes you right upstairs and the carpet is filthy and as a matter of fact, it's missing on the upper level. But as you get upstairs, you have a second upstairs living area, perfect for putting a station here for the kids to play in, if you have kids. To the left of the staircase, we have bedroom number one. Bedroom number one is definitely going to need carpeting. You can see how filthy it is. It's gonna need painting and maybe a little texture on the walls because some of the walls are damaged. We then have bathroom number two. I'm sorry, full bath number one, my mistake. Full bathroom number one has dual vanities, which is nice, and it has a shower and tub combo. Bedroom number two, right up at the front of the home, above the living areas. Bedroom number two is going to need flooring, and it's going to definitely need some sheetrock work. As you can see, it has several damaged, damages on the wall. Flooring, without a doubt, is gonna to need to be replaced. On the opposite side of the upstairs living room, you have a little storage closet here. And then we have bedroom number three. Bedroom number three, a little bit small, smaller than the other bedrooms, but it's gonna need carpeting and it's gonna need painting. And then we have a little linen closet here and master bedroom. The master bedroom is right above the garage, so it's a large bedroom. It has a definitely dirty carpet, it's gonna need painting. You have your master walk-in closet here with lots of space, even a little window in there. Nice big master closet. And then we have the master bathroom. Now the master bathroom does have a big garden tub and separate shower, which is very nice. And then you have dual vanities. One of the vanities is missing the fixture, so you're gonna to wanna to replace that. And that's about it. 
Home really needs painting, it needs some flooring, whether it's carpet or tile, it needs some sheetrock repair and some cabinetry, but you know, I know that sounds like a lot. This home is actually priced pretty reasonably. It's actually $6,000 underneath the county appraisal. Let me give you a formal summary. There it is guys, 10335 Mission Creek. That's 10335 Mission Creek. A very charming and has a lot of potential. Four bedroom, two and a half bath home. Listed right now for only $150,000. There's an airplane flying above me. So guys, if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I'd love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King and I want to help you find your castle.